Now then, welcome back. Yeah, this is the uh, piece of hazel I'm going to do for my next project. So yeah, it's a decent thickness. But yeah, it's a nice bit of block to be carving a handle out of. Let's get on. There we are. So just a bit of minimal cracking. It's not too bad, but I think, I'm checking at it, it's rotten. That is dead like soft and spongy as hot. I'm going to cut it. Right, where am I going to cut it? I'll show you. I'm going to cut it uh, straight down here. I'm going to cut a bit here so I can see how far see how far it's rotten. If it's how far it's in. And obviously I'll do the same on here as well. Just to check. But if it is all rotten, I'm going to cut end off because this is... Oh, let's turn it around. Ugh. So they're really... It's only a dog leg there at the tip, but it's... I cut a lot of this off, so... It would make a good shaft of a walking stick, so it's not all... It's not all bad. But yeah. I'll say all this, and if it is rotten, I won't be posting video, will I? So, if you have seen this, it's obviously not all rotten then. But yeah, we'll find out now. I'll cut it. So, right, I've cut it down. Uh, first thing I did, I cut it down to a more easable, workable height because it was fairly big, like so this is just chest height. You can see I've cut the well, it would have been the bottom because it would have grown like that. But yeah, I cut this top bit off. Still got some funkiness going on in the middle, but we've got some nice color coloration there. but Oh uh, yeah, it's not the... Could still make a good stick. Oh. And yeah, this was the more rotten -y bit. It's still got that funkiness going through it. But I don't know if it's rotten or if it's just where it's been wet or whatever. I don't know. So yeah, if you do know, please leave me a comment. Is it rotten? I'm going to risk it though because it's a... Uh, be a good stick, it'd be good practice anyway. Might give it a bit of character with a bit. I know I like that word, don't I? A bit of character, but might give it some unusual colours. So, yeah, just with a handsaw, you can kind of see it's trying to get the basic shape. Yeah, you can still see the funkiness going on there. So yeah, I don't exactly know, but yeah, the bottom's still definitely funky. But yeah, just cut it all off with a hacksaw, just as much as, much as you can do. Just get the basic, basic shape for a knob stick. And then yeah, I'll start working on that, hopefully. All this funkiness won't give too much an issue, but yeah, start filing, rasping it down now. And slowly begin to get shape but yeah reckon it's going to be a decent yarn so right here we are I haven't I've cut it down to desired height which is just, just you know like elbow bent so yeah there we go oh ah, yeah it's, it's a nice stick it's not it's a bit roughly made I don't know if you can see so much, so I've only stained half of it, there you go, sort of see it there, but yeah, it's good fun practicing on it, but there's, you can kind of see where it's chipped there, but this bit here, the lighter colour, I don't know if that's part of, I don't know, that was like really, really soft wood, it's got some nice coloration and natural forming, with the grain and everything, but from the bottom here, it uh, was fair rotten in the middle. So yeah, right, you can see where it's the colour change there. It was yeah, really, really. Every time you were sanding it, filing it, it was just getting worse and worse. So I think it is suffers from a bit of rottenness. But ah, uh, yeah, it's a nice stick that. Let's see if we can get a bit of light. Uh, 
it's not fully circle as you can tell but it's impressive colors on this and there's where the soft wood was yeah it would be a good old good old whack off that'll work yeah not bad hazel shillelagh just practice with So yeah, I'll probably say if you're making a shillelagh, depending on your wood, this being hazel, I wouldn't use any rotten wood or anything with any sort of disease or damage to it. I know this had a slight bit, in, a slight bit was a rotten and dead wood. But yeah, I would suggest, especially with hazel, not to use dead wood. But if if that's all you can get hold of, it'll be worth a good practice. You know, just to practice your skills on, but there's the old swimming pool. Yeah, it's not a bad stick.